Greetings, everyone. Welcome to my scripture reflection for this Friday, March the 11th. I hope that you're doing well today and you're waking up in a good place saying, okay, I'm going to go have good connections today, connections through God, connections of goodness and purity and all good things. That would be a wonderful way to start the day, wouldn't it? But of course, things happen as the day goes on and conflicts come up. That's exactly what we're going to talk about a little bit as we hear today's gospel reflection. So I'd ask you to quiet your minds and hearts as we prepare to hear the gospel from St. Matthew chapter 5, verses 20 to 26. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar, go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. So we have a conflict resolution theme in our gospel today. And I think I want to focus on one thing that Jesus talks about. He says, go quickly and settle this. Now, I'd like you to think about conflicts that take place in our life. They happen even with the best intentions. And what happens is we stew over it. We wait. Something happens. We don't care for it. And we wait. And we wait. And we wait. And other things come up into our mind. Then when we go to confront the person or the person comes to us, we bring up other things. Because that's what we do, right? We th- thought about all these other things. Well, yeah, I know our dispute was about the book you didn't return. However, I remember also you didn't call me back when you said you were going to. And the list goes on. And then it never seems to be over, right? You always go back and say, yeah, that person never sent me the book back. Bring in my two pals, Daniel and Spartacus. Spartacus was also a beagle mix. He was a very alpha personality. I always said if he was a human, he'd be Clint Eastwood. And Daniel, of course, the fun-loving Jim Carrey type. So they were polar opposites. But for the most part, they got along. One day, though, I did take notice that a piece of food fell on the kitchen floor. They both went for it. I believe Spartacus got to it first. And then an argument ensued, and they barked at each other. After the barking was over, they looked at each other, and off they went. About five minutes later, they were lying down together in the sun. And about five minutes after that, they were at the front door terrorizing the mailman. (laughs) Together. What they show us is the right way And it reflects what the gospel told us to handle conflicts. Settle it as quickly as possible. Be honest about it. That's number one. Number two, don't bring up anything else. Stick with the matter at hand. And number three, when it's over, it's over. Is this possible? Of course it's possible. It's possible when we put into our mind and heart the gospel message we just heard and the lessons we can learn from dogs and animals like Spartacus and Daniel. When we keep that in the forefront of our mind, we can do most wonderful things, especially in this area of conflict resolution. So I'd ask you to give it a try today. First, I'd ask for your thoughts and comments and tell me if you, in fact, have learned something. Just say yes if you've learned something from Daniel and Spartacus and the gospel today about resolving conflicts. Second, please share it with others if you feel it's helpful for you. What a wonderful thing this would do for a world that seems to thrive on conflict. And finally, and most importantly, have a peace-filled Friday. 
and I will see you back here on Sunday. Take care, everyone.